Next question is from Hoop Golf 89. If you had to quit drinking or weed forever, which would it be? Oh my God, that's easy. Easy. Drinking. <laughs> yeah. Well, they don't even drink. So see that's see you later. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I mean, since the biotics, uh, I now will incorporate some alcohol because it does prevent the, the shitty feeling the next day, which is why I never drank. So I would always feel garbage the day after. But look, if you look at the data, the data now is very clear. Both have their own risks, but if you had to compare them and you're a health and fitness fanatic, of course, both can be abused. Both can cause problems. So I'm not saying you know one is perfect and one isn't, and anything can be abused also. But if you had to compare them both with moderate usage and you wanted to look at effects on body composition, increased heart rate, you know, increased heart disease risk, increased cancer risk, you know, all the all the stuff. Alcohol clearly is worse for your body. Clearly. Even a little bit of alcohol isn't good for your body. Cannabis, on the other hand, marijuana, first off, if you smoke marijuana, that's the worst way to consume it because there's the most negative effects from it. That being said, they have yet to connect smoking marijuana to lung cancer, probably because of the anti-cancer effects of the actual cannabinoids in cannabis. The best way to consume it is to eat it, right? So edible mm -hmm. form. So you eliminate that part. Now, what do the studies show with cannabis? Can it have a negative effect on the brain? Yes, it can cause uh, loss of motivation, some issues with serotonin and dopamine. But does it cause the negative effects on the body like alcohol? No, not even close. Alcohol is way worse uh, for your body than, than cannabis. So yeah, if I had to pick one, it would be that. But they did... They have shown in studies, like in terms of developmental minds, there's issues in terms of. Oh yeah, who we? Oh, I'm talking about. We, we can't be talking about under minors right now, right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's where my, you know, just uh, caution goes out. But like, yes, I, I and I've become more of a fan of, of cannabis because of uh, Us. the cannabidiol, <laughs> yeah, cannabidiols, and you guys, and uh, just it, it's kind of an interesting thing. Like, uh, it's not, it's not like when you're first exposed to it when it was illegal, and like you, your friend would, you know show you some and you'd get like way too paranoid and high. it was like a bad experience so basically like going straight to like a whiskey and you're drinking like nothing but shots instead of like starting with beer so yeah. there's a different way to consume it you know if, if you're more educated around it and you could get high strains of cbd and you, know, you don't have to go like completely off the deep end uh right away but yeah it's it's to me, I've, I've slowly become more of a fan of it, but I'm still, I mean, occasional, you know, whiskey and, and, so and give drinks us your answer. Yeah, you I, I'm, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with alcohol because it's just in my blood. So you, keep, you would keep it. You would keep <laughs> it. I'm keeping so it. So if you had to get you rid of one more. forever, rid of so you just brought up something though that is kind of an interesting thought that I, I haven't thought about yet because my son's so young. Um, but I was while you were talking, it made me go, oh, you know what? I wonder if, if I was posed that question, what would I say? So uh, if I had a choice, though, so for me, I said no brainer, right? But actually, if my high school son came to me and said, dad, I'm going to smoke weed or I'm going to drink alcohol, I would actually rather him drink alcohol. Okay, well, hold on. Context matters. Okay, so- Are they, are they both, we, are, would they both be non-abusive? In other words- Yeah, of course not. I would, I would never let my son or encourage any, well, and I would have the right conversation. I'm just saying, if I, if I had the, if this was the rule. Like okay? they, they went out with their buddies every once in a while, They're smoke gonna, a joint versus- yeah, versus drink. I'd want him to drink. No way. E even if you look, not for me. Even if you look. That's by the way, by the question. way, son, if you're watching this, do neither. But uh, <laughs> I'm not saying do. Does one he or watch us? Yeah, no, he doesn't. But uh, at some okay, point, yeah. maybe somebody will send him this video, and yeah. if I find out, steady becomes a porn star. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, um, when you look at the developmental effects that cannabis has on the brain, it does. But compare it to alcohol. It's also better. So that's, yeah, well, that's alcohol. Also, alcohol also has some does some fucked up shit to your brain. Yeah, it's definitely there's a dangerous element to alcohol. There is, but, I, but yeah, but that's so. So here's part of, and of course, I mean, we're we're just playing a game, right? Probably, now. Could, oh, yeah, you know yeah. what? I know where you're going though. But when in we terms were kids, of the developmental mind, yeah, that's where. But I here's was here's the problem. Out. When we grew up, the kids that smoked a lot of weed were fucking losers yeah. because they were. And now, why? They were willing to break the law. Unmotivated, too. Yes. Yeah. And everybody drank alcohol. So that's why. But and, and I feel like it's easier to disguise weed throughout the day and do it all the time. Like, it's like you're not, as a kid, although there's exceptions to the rule, there was kids that came to school drunk. It's a lot harder to disguise that and do that. And I feel like the yeah, kid, you could eat it. And because and, there's yeah. so much yeah. research around marijuana and that it has some health Except benefits, it's not so shirts, bad. You know, that I mean, I, I went, I had this conversation uh, with my brother when so he was so he's what twelve years younger than me. So I was twenty 
eight when I was doing the cannabis industry. Yeah. So what does that put him at? 16. Right? 16 years old, right? So he's in high school and his older brother has got dispensary clubs, you know? And so I, and he wasn't really into weed yet, but he was starting to dabble with stuff and drink and all that. And I remember having this conversation with him where my biggest concern was like, listen, I, I really didn't get introduced to this until I was in my late twenties and I had already had built a career and had success and worked hard and built good habits and fitness and mm. reading. And like that had all come together for me already at this, at this point in my life. And then I get introduced this awesome thing that makes me chill out and veg out and watch TV and put my feet up and get the munchies and laugh and have a good time. And absolutely loved it because I had, I had already developed a responsible mind, but being introduced to that at such a young age and you get all those cool effects. Totally. I just feel like it's really easy for a young mind to go like, oh, this is totally fine. No big deal. And then before they know it, they're they're unmotivated and they don't get shit done. And I feel like I watched my little brother do that. And he's now getting closer to his getting closer to 30. And he's still kind of now he abuses it. Thinking, yeah, no, yeah. of course. Yeah. You know, well, I'll tell you what, dude. Okay. If you want to talk about abuse, okay. Think of people who abuse weed, stoners, fucking, you know, unmotivated, whatever. Think of people who abuse alcohol. Yeah, well, you, it, like, you're fucked. Like yeah, you're not going to you. overdose. On Way weed. less common though in, in the high school kids, right? Yeah. Like you, you rarely. I mean, at least I don't even. I think I remember one or two kids that you know I would consider alcoholics or that were like sneaking. Alcohol. You know why though? It's be believe it or not, this is 100 percent true. When I was in high school, it was harder to get alcohol than it was to get weed. It's still that way today. Yeah, still because that way today. because it's a regulated That's another, legal market. Another reason why, again, I would be I would be more that I'd be more inclined to to caution my son with uh, his cannabis use because I already know the law has already put enough restrictions in in the way for him for alcohol. Plus, you're not going to buy what's he going to buy moonshine. You, you can't really get alcohol. Right. In the That's market. what I'm saying. It's like right. it's that the, the the laws have already put enough restrictions in in his way. Yeah. To, to making alcohol become like a daily thing. Plus, it'd be easy for me to tell if my son's getting drunk before school and yeah, so that. Yeah, that's true. But hiding cannabis and smoking it here and there all the time and it becoming a regular thing and access to it, yeah. I would be more worried about that and and then him him kind of going down that path for the rest of You make of his a life. really good yeah. point. You know, my strategy is that when my kids are old enough legally, and I've already told my, my kids this, the first time you, you really drink and the first time you try anything that's legal... I, you'll do it with me because I feel like uh, I'm not. I feel I, I would like because they're going to do it anyway. They're going to try it anyway, yeah. whether they do it before they legally can or after. You know, if my kids like if they become, you know, if they're like goody two shoe, I'm sure they'll try it when they at least become legal. Right. They'll say, oh, let me see what this is all about. And I know my first experience with no, my family never drank alcohol. I know Italians typically drink. Wine. My house never had any alcohol. So my expo my first experience with drinking was I got way too smashed yeah. and because I Those, didn't uh, same experience I had yeah. no experience I didn't so, know you know what to experience so but if, I bet if I did it with my parents and they did it with me and we had a good time mm -hmm. and they said no slow down and mm -hmm. here's what it would have helped and so I want I would want that experience with my kids so that they develop more responsible you know so use or whatever I mean your your son's in high school now so yeah. have you have you told him this yet? Yeah, I did. Oh, so you've already told him that. I've had you've this already, conversation. You've already said, son, when, yeah, when, when the time comes, you want to try something. Oh, I'm going to, and if he doesn't say oh, anything, cool. I'm going to cool. wait till he has his birthday and I'm going to say, hey, do you want to try this? And we'll do this together. Yeah. And we'll go a little bit and I'll show you. Because the same thing with cannabis. Now, you know, drinking too much alcohol, that can have some really scary, like, like, health, like you could die. Mm -hmm. You won't die from too much weed, but you'll feel like you'll fucking die. I mean, I, I, I remember <laughs> as a kid overdosing that. I was terrified. Oh, yeah. I well, that, that I think that's the the interesting part and in the about that I think as a parent when you look at it and you we have the all the years experience of being around all the stuff and using it is that I, it's almost uh, more dangerous that weed doesn't have as much negative stuff tied to it as alcohol does you know like you think uh, alcohol then you think like hard drugs like cocaine and yeah, yeah. you think psilocybin LSD all these things kids are like most good kids at least i was like this like yeah. that's scared of all mm -hmm. that stuff because you've heard all this stuff where you know weed has gotten a, a thing now where it's it's pretty cool like it's innocuous like, yeah it's not gonna do anything for yeah so i, I and i, I no, would all be, you need is one overdose on thc to know that that is not <laughs> 
That is a and terrible it, I, Less about that and more just it becoming accepted as like, I get high all the time, mm -hmm. you know? And then all of a sudden I've got this kid who's stoned every day and ain't doing shit with his life and doesn't think anything's wrong with it because we, it's not bad for me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, you ain't doing shit with your life because you're not present ever and not fucking realizing what's going on. Absolutely.